Hey everyone, it's JT at Hoagie's Garage again. Um, coming at you here in the garage, kind of a rainy day. Figured I'd bust this out and get this taken care of. Um, had sent to me direct from China the V-Gate iCar, actually it's iCar 3. Um, and that's kind of the close up there. Um, and when I got these boxes in the mail, they, they contacted me to do this. I didn't reach out to them because I never really, I just kind of have my doubts with the Chinese product line. Just, just because. I mean, not stereotyping, not doing anything, but usually this kind of stuff, I mean, let's be honest. If we look at this, I'm going to show you something here. Just that right there makes me a little skeptical. I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I understand what they're going for. They're trying to look all cool and stuff, but I'm just going to say it. So that's the boxes I got in the mail. They sent me two boxes, and inside the boxes were these two little guys. Um, very, very chintzy feeling. They feel like Legos almost. Um, blue one, green one. Pretty simple. Blue one is Bluetooth. Green one, Wi-Fi. And I mean, these are kind of, you see these online, but you don't really, I guess, get to see them as much. So um, I'm just going to show you some of the details here. I mean, there's not really much to them. It does say OBD Professional Solution, if you can read that. Pretty classy stuff. And there's our plug. Um, so my first move when I got it was I unboxed, obviously. Uh, I got this sweet business card CD. Look at that. That's, that's great uh, for computer software, I take it and also a great set of instructions of course your Chinese on the back um, I love the wording on these iCar3 Wi-Fi don't need the password to make verification uh, no need to draw the iCar3 after the car tall 30 minutes later it will automatically come to sleep mode <clears throat> so let's just be honest a little tough to read Anyways, on to the testing. Blue one I started with first, Bluetooth. I plugged it in, went to my iPhone settings, Bluetooth, nothing. Uh, unplugged this, plugged it back in, restarted the car, restarted the iPhone, turned Bluetooth off, on. All the tricks that we know that work with Bluetooth, nothing. So literally, complete dud, this one. Unless, for some reason, I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. I emailed the guys and I asked them what possibly could do to fix this. Never heard back. So if you want the iCar 3 Bluetooth version, drop me a note and I will mail it to you totally for free. It's all you. I moved on to the green one, which is the Wi-Fi version, and it says by that little tiny sticker on there, Wi-Fi version. Plugged it in. Actually worked really easily. Uh, connected through Wi-Fi in my iPhone. Car was running. I opened their app, uh, which they don't really explain it's it's that not that easy to find but it is out there I'll link to it on the the website uh, went in the app and I had gauges like full gauges uh, speedometer RPM temperature different stuff like that that's actually beaming wirelessly through the Wi-Fi to my iPhone now with that being said uh, I messed with it I hit the throttle to move the tack up a full second delay on the real tack as opposed to the iPhone app so in all honesty that part if you're using that not really thinking because that's kind of junky kind of stupid to do if you're why would you look at gauges that are a whole second behind especially the important ones uh, I moved on to the big thing the OBD scanning and what I did was I simulated a uh, check engine light which uh, what that means is I just pulled one of my sensors off the plugs off and I got a service engine soon light opened up the app hit scan. It didn't scan too quick. It took a solid minute to scan through everything. It found the code. It did. Okay, great. It told me what it was, mass airflow sensor issue. That is pretty useful because it diagnoses, it helps you before you go out and start just buying things. It kind of helps you zero in on what's wrong. Um, I redid the plug, shut the car off, turned it back on, did the whole thing, checked it for the code. It was still in there. Uh, there's a clear code button. Nothing. Service engine light still on. Hit it again. Nothing. 
The third time I hit it, the app just totally crashed. Um, basically what I ended up doing was using our Innova big time huge scanner in here and that cleared it in two seconds, way faster than this thing and that was the end of it. So I, I don't know how to conclude on this because I tried to reach out to the company, uh, they're called VGate, um, I think, something like that. It's very tough to tell. They never responded back, although they did email me a hundred times asking when this video was going to be posted. So. Um, here's me delivering to them. I mean, I'm giving this a 100% honest review here. And these are for sale on Amazon for relatively cheap prices, not too, too expensive. But the thing is, do you want to buy something like this and have it not work, not be reliable? And there are little lights, like if I mentioned that already, that light up when this is working behind the plastic. And anytime you plug something into your OBD port, I mean, it is drawing some form of power. I mean, whether it's, you know, just a little bit or, uh, you know, a, l a lot, it's a phantom draw that's doing something. Like, we have the Mojo we're reviewing now, and they told me, you know, if you're parking your car for over a week, like, say, at an airport park, park place, something like that, pull the Mojo out because it's just going to constantly draw on the battery. Um, I don't know if these do that, but I don't know if it's worth the risk for something that is basically kind of halfway working. So with that being said, the V-Gate iCar 3, uh, it is available for sale. I found it on Amazon. It doesn't look like this one for sure. It, it definitely looks different. It's got like buttons on it and an on-off switch, some of them. So I really don't know what version you're going to get when you buy this. But with that being said, I have the Bluetooth. I have the Wi-Fi. I will gladly uh, give them to you because I hate to say this, but it's not going to be in the Hoagie's Garage for a long time. It just isn't, it isn't reliable enough and it isn't something I'm ever going to use. I have many other options that work better and they were actually just more reliable. This thing in the app, is all, in all honesty, was really clunky. Just not something that I wanted to keep on my phone even. So, um, full review on hoagiesgarage.com. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, everywhere you want to find us. Uh, if you like the video, you have a comment, uh, Give thumbs up, thumbs down if you want to get some of those sometimes too. Uh, sorry for rambling about this. Uh, if you're that guy that told me to make it short, I tried. Sorry. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have one of these, I'd love to hear from you. You can tell me how great it is. Maybe you had the same thing dealing with the guys on the email. I don't know. Let me know however you want to. Uh, final thing, the V-Gate iCar 3 uh, in Hoagie's Garage, but not going to be here for long. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. Decide if you're going to buy this or not. Have a great day. I will see you next time.